Probably many players were quite excited when they heard that Moonton was gonna revamp Hanabi. Even I was quite thrilled about it, so I had to try her right away. But just like the old Hanabi, she's still quite easy to kill if the enemies know what they're doing. And well, since I'm in Mythical Glory, most of the players do know what they're doing. But as you can tell from the title, luckily I found a very good Frank on my team, which gonna make things a bit easier. The opponent's draft is gonna be quite hard for Hanabi. Ying, Tamus, and Farsa are gonna be a huge problem for her. Since I'm using Inspire, I decided to play a bit more aggressively against Beatrix. Where did he come from? Let's watch that again. Maybe he flicker, I don't know. Our image came right on time, now we can just sandwich them. We managed to get these easy kills because we kept harassing them whenever we had the chance, so by the time our image came to this lane, all he had to do was to clean them up. Franco just keeps connecting those hooks, but unfortunately, Hanabi is such a weak marksman in the early game that we couldn't convert them into kills. I find Hanabi's old, and even the second skill extremely underwhelming. Truly a beast Franco. I didn't know that they increased Yin's first skill range by so much. I might have to try him next. Absolutely naughty. It always helps to compliment your teammates when they're doing well, it might boost the morale of the team.
Honestly, I think Hanabi is still quite lacking a lot, especially when you try to play her mythical glory rank. I don't want to pretend that she's insanely good for the sake of the video, because that would be kinda of spreading misinformation. But she's not completely useless, it's just that nowadays there are just so much better marksmen out there. It's quite a shame, because she's probably the best looking marksman in the game. This Franco just doesn't miss. Let's dive her. Okay. It doesn't seem like anybody's coming here, so I'm just gonna wait for our minions to keep pushing. I think a good adjustment would be to make Hanabi's old radius, like Aurora's or Carmilla's old, in which you cast the whole ground instead of casting it forward. It's quite rare to find such a reliable tank in solo queue. What a god. The good thing about this revamp is that Hanabi doesn't need to be too scared of hero that relies heavily on CC. I seriously don't know what I was thinking here. I tried to do too much. Maybe I'm just bad, but I seriously find this ult so slow and small. And even if it connects, it doesn't do that much. We are starting to lose a bit of ground now.
Oof, what a slow reaction. I wanted to ult the wind chant, but I guess I should have done it the other way around. But that's fine. This video is more about Franco than about Hanabi anyway. Our Xavier and Franco are doing very well. This when I realized that Franco was having a bit too much fun and went for full damage. Famous and Beatrix are giving us so much problem because we don't have anti-heal. Another great hook. Well, even though I tapped Wing Chan, it didn't register. It is what it is, I guess. It's cute how Yin was taunting, but then got karma in the end. By the way, I also tried the Corrosion Sight, plus Demon Hunter Sword, plus Golden Staff build. But in the end, it lacks even more damage than the crit build. Did Franco just hook Farsa while she was flying? That's nuts. This was quite debatable, because in one hand, if we don't kill her, Beatrix has more burst than us and can quite easily last hit the Lord. But on the other hand, we just miss a good opportunity to take the Lord. I saw my boots, because with 2 wind talker and breastplate, I should have enough movement speed.
Our Franco Xavier played really well in this match and I probably could have done a bit better. But I personally think that Hanabi can only perform quite well when there are a lot of frontliner on the team, like a fighter jungler plus a fighter XP laner plus a tank roamer. Also, you gotta hope that the opponents are not experienced at focusing the squishy backline. Anyway, I think this new update benefits a lot of mages, so I will definitely be playing some of them next. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. See ya.